ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You've clicked onto our Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 19th day of December. Alabama's weather changing today. In fact, a little rain falling in spots early this morning. Take a look at our SkyCam network, and yep, the streets are wet in downtown Jasper. No doubt an air mass change. Yesterday, we had lows around 20 in many areas. This morning, we're in the 40s. And again, uh, some spots getting a little rain. There's a look at uh, Birmingham coming from the SkyCam on top of the Daniel Building, looking back off to the south. And from Tuscaloosa, that's the intersection of Greensboro Avenue and University Boulevard, where the streets there are dry. little wave coming through uh, the eastern part of the country, the a better part of that is north of here, but the trailing part of that will squeeze out a few isolated showers this morning, and a stronger wave is off to the west. That wavy flow it can be problematic in terms of timing out these various waves of energy. Here's the radar this morning, and you can see the little patches of light rain scattered across the state as of uh, 5 o'clock, and more than likely, those will diminish by mid to late morning. And we think much of the afternoon and tonight will be dry, but that next wave comes in here tomorrow. Well, this is looking a little better. This is the expected rain for uh, Sunday evening, and the numbers are coming up. In fact, this is suggesting some two-inch rains for Alabama. Uh, the heavier rains on the western side of the state, and this would be the rain from the system to, uh, tomorrow. And, of course, anything that falls today, which will be very light. And then our weekend system. And that probably looks about right. So that's a good thing. And remember, this will be our driest year on record. Rainfall deficiencies are over 30 inches now for Tuscaloosa and Anniston. Convective outlooks. Today, a slight risk of severe weather over southeastern Texas and a pretty good chunk of Louisiana. Tomorrow, a slight risk over Louisiana, the southern quarter of Mississippi and the far southwestern part of Alabama, Mobile and Baldwin counties, basically. We don't expect any severe weather up here. And then Saturday, there is a severe weather risk that would include the uh, southwestern part of Alabama, really pretty much along and south of a line from near Hamilton to Montgomery and Dothan. And uh, again, I'm not so convinced we'll have a severe weather problem with that. Uh, it's beginning to look like that stuff might come in Saturday night when the air is more stable. But let's take a look. This is the 06Z run of the GFS. And let's see how this model handles this active wave pattern. There's a look at today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. You can see wave number one passing just north of here. That's squeezing out the light rain this morning. Wave number two back in the southwest and at the surface, the first wave, as you can see, squeezing out a little rain in spots. No big rain event, but that's certainly the beginning of change. And then tomorrow, the second wave approaches from the west. And rain will be spreading in here during the day. And uh, again, we're expecting average rainfall amounts of about one-half inch tomorrow. Maybe some spots getting a little more. Could be some thunder, but we don't expect a severe weather problem here. Friday, that wave is off to the east. We're in between, so it should be a dry day and relatively mild, uh, probably low 60s on Friday. And then Saturday, here comes the next wave off to the west. Now, this run does not really have this thing totally phased up here. It's got kind of a distinct northern and southern segment here, and accordingly at the surface, the system is not as strong and a little slower here. Uh, this is suggesting some rain reaching us uh, Saturday. We'll go to midnight Saturday night, and really the primary band of storms is still off to the west. This run considerably slower, and uh, you know our deal here. We don't change the forecast based on one model run in most cases, so we'll leave it in with a better chance of rain Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. But look at Sunday here. The 06Z run still has the uh, rain falling at midday Sunday over much of Alabama with it ending from west to east there. So we'll watch and we'll adjust the timing as necessary, but no doubt that should bring a half inch of rain, maybe one inch on the high end. And we're not particularly concerned at this point about the possibility of severe weather. Monday, Christmas Eve. Uh, looks dry and cool, although this run not as cold as recent runs. And really, this run is uh, somewhat of an outlier here. It, it 
uh, goes against the grain, and we note that uh, disturbance down there in the western Gulf. And by golly, look at Christmas Day now. Are you kidding me? Strong negative tilt shortwave rotating through here. And look what the model does now. Snow for Christmas, anybody? Northern third of Alabama? Hey, the snow lovers got to love that. Are you dreaming? Well, I guess uh, dreams can come true, but for now, we don't buy this. Uh, that, again, goes against the grain on everything we've seen from really this model and the European, and we're not changing anything. For now, we're leaving Christmas Day is, is cold and dry, and we'll just watch things. The next day, dry and cool. On the 27th now, that looks dry. Then the 28th, here comes that next short wave with a chance of uh, rain, and that would suggest some snow over Tennessee with that. So no doubt next week will be interesting, but we'll just sit back and take a wait-and-see attitude. Again, we're not going to change anything for now. Let's dig really deep into voodoo country. How about a peek into 2008? There's a look at the... uh, 500 millibar look, and what a trough off to the west. And uh, that suggests a big rain event, maybe severe weather. And then on the uh, third, cold air wraps in here, maybe a few snow flurries. So very active weather for the next uh, two or three weeks. And uh, that means not a dull moment around here in the weather office. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video posted by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather